person we do is this if you want to decide, it's going to be the back of a shelter. And if you get a paddle and prop it up so that it's acting like a pit prop, on either side where the seats are. And I'm going to tip the canoe so it just rests on the paddle. That's it, brilliant. Okay, now we can adjust the angle of this. Get our tarp out. The white one, that's the middle at the front. Okay, so pull that forward. And then what we're going to do is just peg it down the back here. Okay. With the guy, look. Yeah, yeah. Got the pegs. Use a little clove hitch or something like that for your pegging knot. Okay, good. Okay, if we get the pole, the canoe pole, we can untangle that tie rope. Okay, we're going to make an A-frame with the canoe pole. So yeah. the canoe pole's going to be an A-frame from there up to here and down again. Yeah. So if we, that's it, we'll use the ends that are solid yeah. as the base. Make a cross. About there. Ready? Right, Emily, what we're going to do is tie it up with this. Going like a figure of eight, and that, and some of them underneath as well. Okay, so keep that and that round and round and round. That should do. And then you want two pegs. So if we take one guy rope down to there, one guy rope down to there, you've got one. Yeah. Brilliant. Over here. There we go, and just make a full hitch. And then, Emily, if you go around to the front corner on the far side, just take a peg with you. This is going to be the main body of the tent, so we're going to pull the fly rope down and forward. Great, so that's the basic structure, and then we've got some more time points, there's one in the corner there, so we can just tweak it and, and, and adjust it and make it so that it's nice and snug and windproof on the sides as well. So I lived for three days on Loch Shiel in um, Force 8, Force 9 wind, so we couldn't paddle, we were just stuck there, and we lived in these, and eventually one of them blew down and we all moved into the other one, <laughs> but um, they're absolutely brilliant. If you've got your back to the wind, because of the rigidity of the, of the canoe at the back, they're really, really bomb-proof, and you've got a nice streamlined shape from the tarp as well. And um, that's the important thing, pitching it back to wind. Obviously, if you pitch it with the wind coming in this way, then the whole thing's just going to lift up like a kite.
and you can just tinker on with the guy ropes. You can get them nice and tight and taut. So again, there's yeah. no flap of the, the fly sheet, so it just stays nice and quiet when uh, you're having your kip at night time. Yeah. And there's loads of room in there. You can sit and look at the view, look at the seals, look at the otters. It's fantastic. Want to lie? Go on, I think you should. You put your ground sheet down and get your sleeping bag out and there's enough headroom to sit up in it, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. Cozy? Mm -hmm. Cup of tea? Kitchen sink there as well. Kitchen sink, yeah, you do your washing. <laughs> yeah. Kitchen sink bath. <laughs> Campfire, just here? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's the piece, isn't it? There we go, job done.